Yeah, we'll give this a shot. Hey guys, uh, today we're going to actually start tearing into the truck. Uh, I brought all the pieces over. Uh, I'm just going to put them in the bed and store them there. Uh, but before I get started on this thing, I have got to unload this uh, Z car motor out of the back of the truck. Um, so there's a couple other things I got to do before I even can get started with this. Um, and I'm just all over the place with random thoughts. Brought the hood with me. Brought a bunch of other stuff with me too. Um, this is another VG engine that I have that I took out of my parts truck. And what's cool about this is that one, uh, I've already got a V6 transmission that's out of a truck. So I just got to get this thing rebuilt and uh, I've got that handled. The other cool thing about this is that I've uh, got the truck manifolds, which I can use. And there are differences in the uh, coolant pipes that go to the uh, heater core. And uh, the main difference is that right here, this pipe right here coming off of the thermostat housing, that's different. I don't know if this pipe here is different, but I do know that the end is different. So I'm just going to take both end, uh, the whole thing off and just save it. Um, and then there's also another pipe on the back of the intake manifold that goes to the heater core as well. They're, they're different, but they are bolted on with a gasket, which is cool. So I can take the pipe off the back of this engine, uh, off the back of the manifold on this, and put this one on. And essentially, I'm turning this Z car engine into a truck, uh, truck engine. Uh, while I have it up in the air here, this is what I'm referring to with these pipes. These are heater core pipes, and it does look like the, the pipe for the uh, one uh, is different than the one on the truck. So as soon as I get this uh, lower manifold off, I'll be able to change those pipes over, and I'll have truck pipes coming out. Just get it closer to being a, uh, being a truck Z car combination. Yeah, these brackets are the same. Yep, alternator bracket's the same. So my next move is pulling the transmission off of this thing and hopefully it stands up straight. Okay, we have a flywheel. And I'm going to put this on the machine at work and just cut it. I'm just going to take out that dowel, two dowels, and uh, put a surface on it. It should turn out pretty good. Um, yeah, this cover plate did not come with the engine that I bought, so we now have a cover plate. Pretty cool. That I'll clean up. Parts is parts. Okay, so it appears this bracket's the same and this bracket are both the same, so. Alright, so I've been on this thing for seems like forever just playing the musical uh, engine shuffle here getting one off of a cart getting it up onto the hoist getting it up onto the stand splitting it from the transmission getting the other one cleaned up and put on the cart and uh, so I've got way more time into this than I was hoping that I would so I'm hoping that I still got a little more time to get things done but I've had enough fun with this motor for today. I'm going to work on the left side the next time I come out. 